Well, hey everybody, Scott Kelby here from Kelby One, and we're going to look at adding a soft kind of blurring effect inside of Lightroom without using a plugin or anything to kind of take the edge off an image. Anytime you have an image where you want to just kind of pull it back a little bit and kind of give it a soft glow, this is what you can do. So uh, in this case, this first step is not part of it, but um, I'm going to convert the image to black and white. I'm going to click it over to black and white. I think you can see the glow really nicely here. So we're going to switch to black and white. And then what we're going to do is this effect comes from the clarity slider. Now normally we drag clarity to the right to increase detail or texture. But in this case, we're going to drag this slider over to the left. And that's going to add our kind of soft glow to the image. So take a look. I'm going to click here and I'm going to drag to the left. And you can see that glow start to come in there. Here I'll drag it back and forth a little so you can see just kind of takes the edge off that it doesn't make it look quite so sharp so it still looks in focus I mean the image still looks in focus but you get this nice kind of glow effect now I want to show you a before and after side by side but the problem is if I were to click the backslash key right it would take me all the way back to the color image I want to be able to compare the black and white image and then just the glow so if you remember I covered this on Lightroom Killer Tips before but here's what you do you go to the history panel. You see where it says convert to black and white? You want that to be the before, not where you imported it where it was full color. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and do a split screen. Let's press the letter Y so we have both images side by side. Then what we're going to do is we want the before to be that black and white. You click right in the words, convert to black and white. Drop it there. Now you have the before and after. And you can see the softer version here and then the before version there. And I'll zoom in a little more so you can really see the softness and then I can bring it down a little bit more so you can see. So you can make it too blurry if you go too far but there you go. You can kind of see the softness and the blurriness over here compared to the original. Well there you go guys. Hey if you want a whole bunch of more stuff like this in detail classes we have over 600 classes on Lightroom and Photoshop and photography and lighting and all that stuff. Go over to kelby1.com take the free trial. You're super dig it. I'll super dig you for doing it. All right, everybody, take care, and we'll catch you next time.